What is up, beautiful people of YouTube? My name is Jerry Tastic, and welcome to a very, very special episode. Probably one of my most requested episodes that I get. One of the most requested, for sure, is how to keep homelessness low in Tropical 6 or how to deal with homelessness in Tropical 6. Now, a few disclaimers before we start, ladies and gentlemen. The first disclaimer is this is how I do things. Everybody has their own different way. The beautiful thing about this game is everybody literally can do their own thing in it you could be a communist you could be a socialist you could be a democratic party you can be a republic you can be whatever basically you want to be in this game and you can go about problems however you'd like to be to go about problems but this is how i go about homelessness on my island now this is based off my season one tropical six island where the difficulty was high and the economy difficulty was high of course we're in 2068 we started in the colonial era, so you can imagine we spent a lot of time on this island to get it where it's at today with 99% approval rating, about 2.6 million in the bank. All right, so let's get to it and let's give you tip number one. As you saw, tip number one is always look at the almanac. It doesn't get any more simpler than this. And most likely, if you're going to watch my other how-to videos, it'll always start off with the almanac. Take a look at the almanac because the almanac tells you everything. Now, we got a population of, let's say, 3,700. We got homelessness of, let's say, 100. So I was just doing the math off the top of my head. I think that's mm, about 3%. Let's just say below 5%. Now, the first thing I want to tell you is... In this game, you cannot completely abolish homelessness. You will never get to a level where homelessness is zero. Unless maybe you have it an easy difficulty. Maybe you have like a homelessness or, or rent is free. Everybody can live anywhere they want, etc. So on and so forth. Besides that, all my years of playing Tropical, and I've been playing Tropical since Tropical 1, I've never could just get homelessness to zero. It's quite impossible. So 98 out of 3,700, that's pretty good. So the first tip is to look at the almanac. But what are we looking at the almanac? Well, let's see what we're looking at. We're looking at this area right here. Homeless families. Now, this tells us what wealth level is the homelessness in. Obviously, the filthy rich and the rich, they have no problem. Well, if there's a few families and a poor few families, most of them are the broke people that are homeless. So that gives you an idea what kind of houses you need to build. Now, you might say to yourself, okay, well, I got 652 vacant homes. I should have enough for homeless people everywhere. Well, let's take a look vacant homes by wealth only seven of them are for broke people that are that are vacant only actually seven of them which which actually even tells us less right here that gives you an idea you know we got 652 slots in, in, in as vacant homes but most of our homeless people are broke so that means we don't have enough variety for the for, for the broke people so this is where you need to go back over and over and over again to get an idea before you start any of the tips i'm giving you you need to go to the almanac and take a look okay where am i where are my homeless people at what wealth level are they in do i have vacant homes for them okay why are they vacant so right now we got two major things that we we understood within homelessness from the almanac now for the sake of this tutorial just because you might have a different uh different level let's say you did have vacant homes and this is the tip number two because homelessness doesn't always mean you don't have open homes. There is an issue with Tropical 6 where it could be you could have homeless people with vacant homes. A lot of people ask this question. Well, I got vacant. Well, why, is it, why are they vacant? Well, let's take a look, for example. If you have vacant homes that are vacant, you need to look at a few things. The first thing you need to look at is the location of it. So let's just focus on this one as, as an example. The location of it. So the second thing to look at if you have open houses but not enough vacancy in them is the upgrades is the, the 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 house mode and is the beautification and of course location 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 so as you can see almost everywhere you look at my island it's a tedious job but if you plan on having this island playing it for a while like i do i've placed parks almost everywhere because beautification is something that's important transportation is something that's important is there are there buses near their house like there's a bus stop here are there buses near the house are there um metro station near the house so the second thing to look at if you have open houses but still homelessness is why. And these are the four things that could be possibly why. All right, so the third tip is the housing budgets and the housing modes that we briefly touched base, but now I'm gonna go in a little deeper with different buildings. Tropicas are very picky. You can have a house in a prime area, blah, blah, blah. They need beautiful beautifications around it. Sometimes they need electricity. Sometimes they need security, a police station near it, a grocery store near it, a bus stop or metro station. They're very, very picky. Sometimes they'd rather live on the street like this fella's doing right here. He's retired, so it's a little different case. Then actually live in a house just because the house 
doesn't meet their quote unquote standards. So the second thing you need to look at is I wouldn't advise doing this right in from the get go. But as soon as you have enough money, enough wiggle room, the second thing or the third thing to look at is the work modes. Now, every place has different work modes. Obviously, when you look at this for a tenement, armed caretaker increases housing quality by 10, decreases crime safety penalty by 8, increases upkeep by 12. So the bonus here you're getting is you're increasing the crime, I mean, increasing the beauty or the quality by 10, and you're decreasing the crime that, that this building emits by 8. Now, the, the price you have to pay is a 12% upkeep, but we took it. If you take a look at my island, none of my houses, none of my houses, these kind of houses are not, all of them have electrification. I can afford it. I have enough infrastructure for it. So it's very, very important that once you get settled in, because at first, honestly, if you look at my first maybe five, 10 episodes of this series, I don't care about homelessness right off the bat because I need to make sure my economy is good. Once your economy is good, then your problem becomes the homelessness issue like it is right now. Then you start doing the show off edits. Um, then you start doing the electrification upgrades. You start doing stuff like that. You start doing the apartment, for example. You can look at the apartment. This one's not electrified. Let's electrify it even though it's full all the way. You start looking at stuff like that. Let's take a look at our modern apartments. Solar panel windows. Building requires negative uh, 30, 30 megawatts less electric power. Yes, we'll take that. So it's very, very important to know to focus on that. As you can see, we got blocks of just houses. And these houses are probably going to be all show off. Show, yeah, they're probably, but for sure, they're all going to be electri electrified or electrification to them. The reason why I could afford that because I have enough power that generates through my island. I have enough solar panels here. I love enough um, wind turbines. I even have, I think, one power plant, one coal power plant. That was like the first one that I ever built. But so what I'm saying is don't don't work on the housing budget and housing modes right off the bat but eventually to make your homes more desirable to make people want to live in them even though it might cost you a little money you're gonna have to do the upgrades that's just how it goes in this game that's just how it goes as you can see some of the houses are going to be a little vacant because again we looked at the almanac and the almanac told us that um poor people and well-off people they're not really uh, there is really no demand for housing for them so some houses got to be vacant, but obviously the number is going to fluctuate. So the third thing I could give you is always look or always upgrade the housing budgets and housing modes once you can afford it. The fourth thing we talked about, of course, is beauty. We talked about earlier, but I cannot emphasize on this enough. Yes, it's annoying. Yes, it's a pain, but it does make your island look beautiful. You need to have parks. They cannot live in an area that's not beautified. That's just they, they, they just won't do it. They won't do an area that's not beautified at all. So if you look at, for example, let's take a look over here and let's take a look at our our beauty. You look at this area's beauty. It's beautiful. This area is because it's a bunkhouse, honestly. I don't you guys are not barely paying anything. Some of you are getting it for free. But beauty is something that's very, very, very important in this game. Uh, it's for 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 businesses and for houses and not just for houses it's for businesses as well another thing you need to focus on and look at is the beautification of the area where they're living at is it desirable do they like do they like the parks around it not only that there's some things or certain certain buildings like like a fast food joint for example that actually increases the housing quality there are some things like a cathedral uh, that increases the housing quality because it starts emitting crime safety so there are a few things that you need to look at, but beauty, oh my beauty, that's uh, something that you cannot overlook in this game. You cannot overlook the fact that you need beautification in this area. Like, okay, if you take a look at this, like the fast food joint, just to give you an example, let's take a look at free refill or free delivery, I mean, increases housing quality of residence buildings within radius of 15 grids. So boom, let's take it. Now, all of a sudden, all these houses right here, their quality has increased. That adds on to the beauty, to the, to the comfort, to the convenience of living in this area. Parks do the same for them. Now, they don't necessarily sit at parks, you know. They don't necessarily sit in them, but it's just... Sometimes they do, but it's more of... It's convenient, more of its beauty. You, you wouldn't want to live in an area that's next to a bus stop, next to a rum distillery in real life, and we Tropicans don't want to live in that area either. So that's the fourth thing that I want to give you. The last thing I want to give you, which is probably the most important tip, 
we have a bonus tip after this but this is one of the last official tips that i want to give you is do you even have a job bro as you can see this just went up recently as you can see in the graph here because i know my island pretty well this just recently went up and also went up for the high school and the college because i just went on a high school and college campaign where i built a lot of them so there's more graduates that are coming out i'm not worried about unemployment if you watch my series you watch how i do it unemployment there's a whole a whole another video on unemployment that you guys should watch after this video because it's very 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 important and it ties hand in hand so the last thing you want to look at is do you even have a job bro these people probably wouldn't be broke if they had a job you know the, there's 90 uneducated people that's the most people that are homeless right now that are educated so you need to have jobs in this game the more jobs you have the more they can afford it we don't have free housing it's like as you can see here citizens paying no rent decreased capital standing blah, blah, blah. i can issue that right now but no that's not how i want to play the game everybody plays the game differently we don't have free housing okay so therefore if they don't have a job they probably can't afford a house unless you give them little you know projects project housing homelessness and unemployment is hand in hand you're not gonna you're gonna have high homelessness if you have very high unemployment and to be honest with you looking at my almanac right now because i know this number just went up higher recently i'm surprised that i only have 86 homeless people but that's because i have enough stack them higher buildings around the island so that kind of keeps things going and of course you got these buildings that i can never say the name conventellos i think i always say it wrong but i even have this where a lot of broke people could even come live here if they wanted to obviously that's like literally the last thing that they want to live in so do you even have a job bro is the question if you don't have jobs for you people you can't expect them to afford housing and if you don't have money to afford stack them higher housing like this one then you can't you, you know you, your homeless is going to be higher obviously this number went down just because we built a few bunk houses here and there that are kind of aimed or meant for them so let's recap real quick look at the almanac and always 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 look at the almanac that's not a joke and if they're not if you have enough vacant homes and they're not living there see why they're not living there is there no beauty no parks no nothing speaking of budgets and all of stuff make sure to budget once you can afford it don't i wouldn't worry about this right away i'd worry about this maybe cold war era uh, and, and a little bit later but once you can afford it housing budgets make sure it's high make sure the housing modes are set right and mixing the make sure the housing uh housing uh, uh, upgrades are set right as well after that make sure you have a lot of parks a lot of parks a lot of parks and after the parks and the entertainment buildings are around it make sure you have jobs that are close by preferably very very close by so these are the five tips that i would give you on how to keep homelessness low in tropical six or how to almost abolish homelessness in tropical six because you're never truly gonna abolish it ever never gonna abolish it just like unemployment is gonna be very very hard to uh, to to completely get rid of speaking of unemployment after this video what i want you to do is if you don't know how to keep your unemployment low i can show you how which we actually have a great great opportunity for it right here right now with this with 264 citizens i can show you how to keep unemployment low so make sure you watch my how to keep unemployment low in tropical six video after this one because it literally ties hand in hand and i released them both around the same time on purpose because in order to keep homelessness low you need to keep unemployment low as well so we got some some unemployment going on that we'll take care of so make sure you check that video out if you did like this video please make sure you hit the like button comment below let me know what kind of or what how to tropical videos you'd like to see or what questions you even have for me um that's specific to tropical six and with that being said if you are new here please make sure you subscribe and become part of the jr army if you already know how to do this and that but you'd like to see more on how i build this island this is like i said tropical six season one island so make sure you go ahead and check that card below or above you or to the side wherever it's gonna show up that's where it's gonna have my episode one of this series thank you guys very very much for tuning in my name is your and i am out